welcome to Doro CCTV. Today we'll be showing you our PTZ camera. Here it is straight off the shelf. We're going to do some uh, unboxing and some information on the camera. So we'll see you in a second. So this is our two megapixel Uniview Light Hunter, which has 16 times optical zoom. The lens size is from five meter to 80 millimeter. And the unique feature of this camera is its smart auto tracking. So this PTZ has capabilities in which you can filter tracking based on human or vehicle detection. You can also set up intrusion detection or line crossing. The PTZ is PoE and you can plug and play with a Uniview NVR or you can use it standalone, which you will need a 256 SD card, which is not included. The Light Hunter technology in this also ensure, ensures ultra high environment in low light and it's IP66, which is, means it's waterproof. The video compression is a Ultra 265, which is similar to H265 Plus from different brands. Now we're going to unbox this camera. So, good size for transport, not too bulky. Um, and here we go. We can open the top now and show you what's included in this. So in here you have your 12 volt power supply with your power adapter. You have your manual there. You can scan that in with the QR code and you can get all your instructions there. You have your waterproof glands. You have your fixing bracket so you can get it nicely onto a wall. As I open the top, you get these heavy duty screws for the wall, which is uh, really handy to have. There's also a bracket inside for the camera to attach to the mount. I'll show you this. Very good quality. Now, the PTZ camera, as you see, is a really nice size. Let's get the wrapping off to show you the full. Now, here's the camera here in its full glory. We'll be showing you the uh, images on this shortly, but uh, let's look at this now. Here's the connectors on the end as well. So you're all good on that. Put this down carefully. And also, it comes with a bracket. So here's the bracket. Nice size bracket, not too long, ideal for the camera. So that's everything unboxed from the camera. So now we will be showing you the images of the camera and all its functionality. And thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Here is video footage of the PTZ. First we do a zoom quality test and then we'll show you the auto tracking feature. Here you can click on the pencil icon to set up a preset for the PTZ. Now if you click on this icon, you can call the preset of the camera and it will move to the automatic position that we already set up. First go to Setup, then click on Smart from the left hand side menu. Enable Intrusion and go click here to go to Settings. First we need to click on the plus sign to create a box for the intrusion detection. You can drag the box with the mouse and make it bigger to have a correct location of the area that you wish to be detected.
the detection object, you can select the target type. I'm going to disable the human and other object, so we have vehicle detection only. From the trigger action tab, also, we need to enable tracking. On this page, you can track the object continuously or give a certain time to track it. As you can see here, the PTZ is to set to track only the vehicle and it does not work in to track me. Now I'm going to enable human detection and do a test again. Now I'm going to walk into the area to see if the camera will track me or not. There are more features that you can set up on this PTZ. For example, you can set up the time for intrusion settings. By clicking on an arm, you can also disable the tracking on time you don't need it. Another interesting feature you can find on this PTZ is that you can go to Smart Service Switch and set up different behaviors for the camera. Here you can choose the starting and end time. From 10 to 11.59 from the drop box menu you select intrusion. That means in this time only the intrusion detection works. And here from 12 to 1459, the line crossing detection begins. Mm -hmm. 